Hello guys and welcome to another Loss in the Viewfinder video. This will be a short one, but hopefully a very helpful one that will clear a lot of misunderstanding and confusion. Adobe always praises their new releases and Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC is no exception, but what they also tend to do is not explain well enough how exactly do those new features work. In this case, it's the accelerated GPU processing. For those unfamiliar with accelerated GPU processing, it basically means that the GPU helps the CPU to do things that it's already doing a lot faster. Now, even though I've placed the official system requirements and suggested graphic cards, it still might be the case that your card is not on the list and that it actually works. The best way to find out if your graphic card is supported is by getting Lightroom 6. Now, if you don't want to purchase it, you can download free trial. Make sure it's, you're running Lightroom 6 by going to help about. Uh, the next step is going to help and system info. Within the system info, there is a small part of text that is dedicated to accelerated graphics. And if you see the OpenGL test passed, it means your card is supported. The next step is going to edit preferences and then the performance tab and enabling the option of using the graphics processor. So if you've checked all of the three previous steps, meaning you have a graphics card that is supported and you've enabled OpenGL accelerated graphics, the next very important information is where a lot of people were confused. GPU support in Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC is available only within the develop module. Even in develop module, not all tools are supported, but most of them are. Export, library, quick develop modules do not use GPU, they use CPU only. At the moment, the developers are investigating using GPU and other technologies to improve performance and develop in other areas of the app, which means that in future patches, you will probably see the GPU support being expanded further areas of the app. Also, an interesting thing is that the, they say the GPU support is far more noticeable the bigger resolution display you have 4K or iMac 5K, Red 9, etc. Now, everything that I've just told you are the official words from one of the Adobe staff members. There's a link for the full forum post if you'd like more information. Even with all the information that was given and the fact that certain tools within the develop module are really blazingly fast, there were still a lot of people that were claiming that other modules within Lightroom that do not use GPU acceleration directly work a lot slower if it's turned on. So I went on and did a small test. So here's what I did. Within the library module, which does not support GPU acceleration, I took a Canon 6D 20 megapixel RAW file and I used a stronger exposure and highlights values. And I went from the minimal one to the maximal one. I have timed each time that it takes. It was around 40 to in total. And I took average values when the acceleration was turned on and the average values when the acceleration was turned off. And the results are fairly interesting, as you can see in both the exposure and highlight modification. It was definitely clear that in every instance, Lightroom with disabled GPU acceleration in modules that do not use GPU acceleration worked faster than the Lightroom with enabled GPU acceleration. So if you have a slower computer with an older graphics card, even though it might be supported, you should check it out. What difference does it make for you if you turn it off? On my machine, I can definitely notice a huge improvement in the develop module as far as speed is concerned, and not that much of a performance drop within other modules. But there are people that claim that with enabled GPU acceleration, everything works slower than Lightroom 5 point something. So if you're one of those, try disabling it, see if it works, maybe it runs better for you after that. But still, with all being said, you gotta give it to Adobe. GPU acceleration is something that Lightroom has been missing for a while. It's a very well welcomed feature. It's gonna get only better with new patches and fixes in the future. That's it for me guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, press that like button. It is really, really, really appreciated. Subscribe, more stuff coming up. Until then, happy shooting.